Living in the Pacific Northwest, we share our home with the majestic southern resident orca whales. With their critically endangered status, there are calls to stave off their extinction. Orca Recovery Day is this weekend with more than 70 events across Washington, British Columbia, Oregon, and California to improve conditions for the whales. Today, we welcome Washington State Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, and Ryan Mello, Executive Director of the Pierce Conservation District, to share how we can help and we can all do something. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Um, for either one of you, what, what are the current conditions for the southern pod? You know, our whales have been struggling um, for quite some time, as we saw last year with Tolu dying or carrying her baby for weeks on end. Just we moved not only our state, moved our, our nation, the world. And shortly thereafter, we had a four-year-old pod who also died. We continue to see a decline in numbers year after year, and we know it's because their food source is also declining. And why is this happening? Because the northern pod's doing pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. And we're down to 73 uh, endangered orcas. It, it's happening because of lack of food, so the salmon they eat, mm -hmm. um, all the toxics from our cars and our homes and roads are contributing to bad water quality for, for the orca. Um, boat noise uh, makes it hard for them to hunt. Right. So all these reasons are compounding where we have them at a, a population of just 73 orca whales now. Wow, so we want to do better. Orca Recovery Day started last year, is that correct? It did, yeah. And so what's the purpose? What are we trying to do? The, the, you know, when Taliqua was carrying her dead calf for um, over a thousand miles for 17 days, um, my team at the Conservation District, and I know uh, folks all over the state were just wondering, what can we do to yeah. really bring hope? So. Orca Recovery Day was our response. It's an opportunity for families, uh, individuals to gather on this day to do something really positive to impact the food source and the habitat and the water quality um, that's impacting our orca. So give me some examples. We're seeing some pictures now of, I think, tree planting um, and things that the whole family can do together. What types of volunteer projects are available? So it's gonna be a really um, fun day. Uh, events all over the state of Washington, really the Northwest. Um, so there'll be this guy looks happy. He he's mean? planting and he's very happy. Planting's a good thing. It's <laughs> it a good thing. Yes. <laughs> There'll be tree yes. planting, lots of salmon restoration events. There'll even be um, other educational events, so murals to educate and inspire people. Um, different events happening in schools, rain gardens that will help. Uh, take water from our our buildings and our roads and clean it before it goes right. to Puget Sound. So just lots and lots of different kinds of events that are very family friendly. And things we can learn. You mentioned the rain gardens. That's stuff we can do at home. That's right. There's a lot of things. I mean, I think we forget because they seem, the animals seem so distant and far right. away, right? Um, out in the waterways. We see them every once in a while. But the reality is everything from our urban environment, where our homes are, the city streets, um, we have the ability to change not only the pollutants that are going into that water, the shoreline habitat. Much of our nearshore environment is changing. Um, we have creosote pilings and plastics and contaminants that are going into that water A every single day and we have the ability to clean those areas up um, at the small scale all the way up to the large scale. And you brought today the, the gifts you're going to give to volunteers and I want you to show that to everybody and just talk to me a little bit about, I mean people make fun of it, but like getting rid of plastic straws, getting rid of you know, non-compostable things that we use for for eating is really important. It's no joke. I mean, this is something that makes a huge difference. Yeah, so there's lots of ways that individuals could make a difference, and that's what Orca Recovery Day is. It's an opportunity for all of us to understand our individual impact. Right. So when volunteers uh, show up on Saturday at any of our events, they'll get um, a thank you gift, mm -hmm. and uh, this little pouch has some uh, reusable uh, bamboo ware for your next takeout or picnic or why not whatever stick it in your purse and then you don't you get the full set and so these here are for you go you. thank you very much look at this um, but it it matters right it you does. know every every one of us has a chance to not use the little you know plastic things that connect cans or to to you know, not get reusable water bottles to be right. conscious about what we use. And we can do that today. Yep. Well, and in my role, so I oversee 2.6 million acres of aquatic lands. So from the entire coast, the Puget Sound, rivers, lakes, and streams. My agency, Department of Natural Resources, has removed a total equivalent of 70 Boeing 747s worth of toxic material Good in that Puget Lord. Sound, right? Much of that is creosote pilings, there's styrofoam, it's plastics, right? It's derelict vessels. One of the things we did is we've launched, and here's another way people can get engaged, we launched an app called My Coast, where you can literally go online.
online, I love it. right? Okay. You can go on, download this app when you're walking the beach, when you're out there, you're able to identify, oh, and report. Here's a great creosote report. Here's a piling has come up. I noticed it. Take a photo, put it in. We now know where it's at and we can get to it quicker. Large marine debris, abandoned boats. Um, it's an opportunity That's for great. everybody to be taking notice when they're out there and having a role in being able to communicate it back and us to clean it up. My Coast. My Coast. It's an app you can download today. Even my kids, 12, you know, 14 yeah. and 16, know that app and they know how to report it. Let's do it. Thank you both very much and thank you for the gift. Orca Recovery Day is Saturday, October 19th with events enhancing rivers for salmon, planting trees, talks offered by specialists. Signing up is as easy as going online and specifying your county and we'll have a link on our website to make that easy. We'll be right back.